Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Nasrin Padasali. So I hope you students are aware that GATE has been released, this IIT Karakpur has released us the response sheet in which you can find out your real-time responses at the same time you can also download your uh, uh, this question paper also. So the entire video deals with providing uh, answers for those questions since you know the answer key will be released by IIT Karakpur. But before that, any student who had written any examination definitely your mind will search for answers so i just waited for the, this day so that i can get my question paper in my hand and it will be very much helpful for doing analysis so in this video i'm going to discuss the answer for section number b that is bt biotechnology category and match the cell type that is called given in column number one with its function in column number two so column number one involves cells and the column number two involves function so first thing b cell is ultimately involved in your humoral immunity so B cells produces the antibodies as this humoral immunity is also called as your antibody mediated immunity. The next thing, neutrophils are a type of WOBC cells, okay, white blood cells that are involved in process of phagocytosis, okay. And the T cells are involved in a process of cytotoxicity. Yes, there are two types of T cells. One is CD4 and CD. CD4 uh, is, in, is called helper T cells, okay. They are involved in maintaining the overall health of your immune system. Okay, and the CD8 are called as cytotoxic T cells. And this cytotoxic T cells are mainly involved in cell death by inducing this apoptosis process. They are involved in process of cell death by inducing apoptosis. So that's why T cells are involved in cytotoxicity. At last, mast cells are involved in histamine associated allergy. So histamine is nothing but uh, it's involved in producing itching and dark. When you take any kind of foods that are not well uh, taken by your body, then this histamine only involved in producing various allergies. They are also giving vomiting and food allergies and also digestive problems. So the correct answer is B1, Q4, T, sorry, R2 and S3. Okay, so next. This is a MSQ type of question. If you had attempted the question and if you have given a correct answer means then two marks will be given. Whereas if you have given them wrong, then no mark will be detected. That is no negative marking. Friends, okay. So which of the following is our, our common future of both the aromatic and anaerobic, sorry, aerobic and anaerobic bacterial culture. So the cell respiration is classified into two types, friends. One is aerobic cell respiration and another one is anaerobic. Aerobic respiration will generally take place in the presence of oxygen whereas anaerobic will take place in the absence of oxygen. So they are asking what is a common future between aerobic and anaerobic. That, that must be one option or more than one option. So, okay. so let me clarify with you. Two, first option is two eight ATP molecule formed per glucose molecule. No, this is a wrong option. They are asking common future. If you take aerobic respiration, totally 38 ATP molecules will be formed per glucose molecule oxidase. Whereas if you take anaerobic, there will be two net ATP molecules. So this is a wrong option. Next thing is oxidative phosphorylation. Now this is also a wrong option because if you take cell respiration, again I am saying they are divided into two categories. One is aerobic which includes your glycolysis, Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation. And this oxidative phosphorylation is not a future of your anaerobic bacteria culture. So the correct option is option number C that is glycolysis and this uh, glycolysis is common future for both the aerobic and anaerobic bacteria culture and also this NAD plus act as an oxidizing agent. They are an electrode acceptor molecule. Okay, so the correct option is here glycolysis and also this NAD plus. Okay, so the next option is with respect to this uh, So the next thing is this match the media component that is a cell culture media in column 1 with its role in column 2. So they are asking us to match. This is a MCQ type of question friends. If you given a correct answer then the correct answer will be given. If you attempted them wrong means then definitely negative marking will be given. So sucrose carbon source. Zinc chloride is a trace element. These are minor components. If you refer uh, textbooks of plant biotechnology, then the first option is the zinc is a trace element. And ammonium sulfate is a nitrogen source. And the silicon oil is an anti-forming agent. So in the, in the industrial process or bioprocessing and all, uh, due to enough amount of mixing on turb turbulence, there will be numerous form forms will be formed. And this will disturb the process of your fermentation. At that time point, they will add any oil. So the silicon oil is acting as an anti-form agent that prevent the formation of form. So P uh, is 3, 
okay and q is 4 and r is 2 and silicon that is s is 1 you can check with your answers okay so the next is which of the following is not used for so please make, make sure shelf they are asking which of the following is not used for generating an optimal alignment of two nucleated sequences the options are given so they are asking this since it is a mcq type of question friends so there is a only one option so okay there are that is not a msq type of question so the correct option is the mismatch score yes gap penalties match scores and even nucleated composition the total proportion of your adenine thymine and cytosine guanine are used to generate an optimal alignment of any two nucleotides okay and this uh, alignment strategies has been mainly employed in a process of the evolutionary concept okay and gap penalties and matching scores are used to predict this particular thing whereas your mismatch score is not used for generating an optimum alignment of two nucleotide sequences they are generally used for generating point mutation okay so that's what they are saying so sequence alignment is nothing but it's a way of arranging the sequence of either your dna rna or protein in order to identify the region of similarity and this ultimately signifies in a process of evolution okay and this gap penalties and mass scores and nucleotide composition are not used whereas this mismatch score is not used so the correct option is here mismatch score in animal endogenously produced microRNA silence the gene expression by the process. Okay, they are asking in animal cell the endogenously produced microRNA silence the gene expression by which process. Here they are asking uh, it's, it's a MCQ type of question. So definitely there will be one options only. So if you take this microRNA, they are nothing but they are a short and these are non-coding RNA. And this microRNA are generally involved in regulating your gene expression. And with what the, what's the question they are asking? How what is the mechanism that is used by this microRNA to used in gene silencing or to silence a gene expression means these microRNA form a base pair with the 3 dash UTR that is 3 dash untranslated region of specific mRNA and thereby inducing a gene silencing. So the correct option is this base pairing with 3 dash untranslated region. So many students will be putting this particular thing base pairing with 3 dash region of specific RNAs. So here also you can able to see they bind with 3 dash untranslated region of specific messenger RNA. Okay, and they don't bind with this ribosomal RNA. So, I think many students will be attempted this correctly. If you understand RNA and microRNA, that's the reason why I'm saying again and again, you should read the question twice or thrice. Adenine can undergo spontaneous changes to hypoxanthine in a cell, leading to a DNA base mismatch. So, here they are uh, speaking about this DNA mismatch repair mechanism. And the correct combination of enzymes that are involved in repairing this damage. So before that, you should know what is mean by this DNA mismatch repair mechanism. So there are four things will be picked. So first thing, mismatch has to be recognized. Next, the wrong nucleotide has to be removed. And then uh, the new nucleotide has to be synthesized at last connecting both the nucleotide by forming a password is one only if you know the mechanism of the mismatch repair pathway you can be able to identify a correct answer for this pathway so first thing is that throughout the entire mechanism primates will not be removed so you can delete option number a and option number e so both the options are correct see if you take yes nucleotides exonucleosides is involved dna ligase is involved in the last process to combine and helicase has also been involved first time uh, so the correct option is that nuclease dna polymerase dna ligase and helicase are the correct option based on the article which i refer so if possible we can revisit the question and there are possibility of many students challenging this type of question okay so better wait for the official update if you have any other thing you can discuss then in the comment section so that we, we may get more insight about this particular thing next is the match the component of eukaryotic cell with the respective functions in column number two so column number one is given by a lysosome, peroxisome, glycosome and cytoskeleton. Lysosome is involved in the digestion of your macromolecule. Whereas this peroxisome, the ultimate role of this peroxisome is the detoxification of a harmful compound. And this glycosomes is involved in converting your lipid into carbohydrate which is other cases called conversion of fatty acid into sugar. And the cytoskeleton is involved in cell motility. So I think many students will be given as a correct option. So the correct option is 
P1, Q2, R3, S4. But you know many student, if you revisit the question paper, then again you will think either you will make this as a wrong peroxisome, you will give as conversion of fatty acid to sugar and glycosome, you will give as a detoxification of harmful compound. But the correct option is P1, Q2, R3 and S4. So, this is the correct option. Next thing is that which of the following spectroscopic technique can be used to identify all the functional group of an antibiotic con antibiotic contaminant in a food. So, just leave these concepts down. They are using which microscope sorry, spectroscopic technique is used to identify functional group and this is a MCQ type of question friends. So, you should understand what are the type of spectroscopic techniques that are used to identify the functional group? So, the correct option are your infrared spectroscopy and also NMR. Okay, if you so the correct option is option number uh, P and R, that is P and R only option is the correct. Whereas, if you take the cyclor, uh, circular dichorism spectroscopy, they generally measure the difference in absorption of the circularly polarized. And if you take this UV visible, they are not used for identification of this functional group and all, where they are, they, they are generally used for the identifying the concentration of protein in any substances. So, the correct option is your infrared and nuclear magnetic, which are widely used in organic chemistry in order to identify different functional group. Because different functional group will have certain bond and this will be captured by the infrared spectro spectrum and also this NMR spectrum. Okay, and the next question is with respect to this particular thing. Which of the following condition will contribute to stability of the gene pool in a genatural population? So, this is a MCQ type of question, friends. Okay, so first you should know gene pool is nothing but total genetic diversity. Total number of genes that are present in a particular population. Okay, and also they are asking what are the factors or condition that contribute to a stability of gene pool in a natural population. So, the correct option is that the population should be large at the same time there should not be no mutation and there should be a random mating and there should, not, there should be a selection. So, the correct option is option number P that is large population and there should be no net mutation and also and also there should be no selection. Okay, so there are three options correct. One is large population and there should be no net mutation and also there should be no selection. Here they had given non-random mating where random mating alone will contribute to the stability of the gene pool in natural population. Next thing again is a collapsing type of question. The type of nucleic acid present in lambda phages. Okay, many students will be marked this question as a wrong. Yes, you will be given this as a single standard circular RNA molecule since after here. Uh, watching the diagram and all but you know this lambda phage is nothing but it's a cauliphage it's a bacterial virus that infects your E. coli and this lambda phage was first discovered by your Esther Lederberg and the genome of this lambda uh, lambda phage is your double standard DNA okay and also the DNA is linear form not in a circular form so the correct option of the type of nucleotide present in lambda phage is your double standard DNA don't collapse the circular DNA or RNA or single standard DNA it is a double standard DNA this is the first line of anything if you refer any textbook then it will be a first line even Wikipedia shows us show me this particular thing if you're given this as a correct option then hats up to you if you did at least learn from this particular concept so that in next time if the same question is asked then you can be there. Next thing is that match the microbial product that is given in column 1 with the respective application. So, they are giving a microbial product and the application. So, methane biofuel. Yes, biogas is used widely. Uh, okay, if you refer anything, they will say biogas is a only one many type of biofuel that is widely used in the Indian subcontinent. And also, if you take biogas, methane is a principal component. Okay, the bacteria will produce methane as a microbial product. So, methane is a biofuel P3. Next is this glycolipid. These glycolipids are generally used as a biosurfactant. Biosurfactant is nothing but these biosurfactant are present in the surface of if your bacteria, yeast and fungus and they produce the any substances in extracellular. 
and these glycolipids are a widely used biosurfactant yes they are currently used in medical therapeutic and they are also acting as a scavenger in biofilm formation as a result they are using as a anti adhesive coating for any microbial coating in addition to it it is having a low toxicity and they are widely biodegradable so that's the reason this glycolipid are used as a biosurfactant and this polyhydroxy alkonate is used as a bioplastic yes this pha are used as a true alternative of your plastic and generally many bacterial genus are involved in producing this polyhydroxy alkonate okay so this pha is generally produced by bacteria bacteria will use this pha as a as a energy source or carbon source at one circumstances this pha will be produced as a larger amount so that's how this pha is employed as a bioplastic integrating your plastic so the next video i'll continue this particular thing since the longest video so next video will share answer key of other questions cast in this gate biotechnology